This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, ho there. It's Jeff Cutter Dabby, and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy for today, is, uh, May the 6th, is a Venezuelan baseball player who is playing for the Houston Astros, who has played for the Astros since 2011, becoming the longest current member of the team. And the only Astros player to still play for the Astros when the Astros actually were in the National League. This guy is the shortest active MLB player at 5 foot 6 inches, or 5 inches shorter than me. He's a contact hitter, one of the best hitters around. He's won, he's won many awards. He's an 8-time All-Star, 2-time World Series Champion, an AL MVP, ALCS MVP. Sportsman of the Year, even. It's amazing. His name is Jose Altuve, who is now 33 years old. Jose Altuve was born and raised in Venezuela and actually competed alongside future Royals catcher Salvador Perez many times. Anyway, Altuve attended a Houston tryout camp in Marque, Venezuela, but because he was deemed too short, he was not allowed to participate, and they thought he was lied about his age. But, Altuve returned and produced his birth certificate. So, anyway, he got an evaluation and signed a undirected free agent deal for over 15000 with a $15,000 bonus. So, he went to the Venezuelan Summer League to prepare himself. He went to the States in 2008 to Greenville in the Appalachian League and then went to Class A for 2009 and 2010. 2011 he got promoted to Double A Corpus Christi but then Houston decided to call him up July 2011 bypassing Triple A. So anyway he was part of the All-Star Futures game and was pretty good. He actually set the record for most consecutive games to start a career with a hit, seven. He even hit an inside the park home run August 2011. And with the first Astros since Adam Everett in 2003. And he led off that game with that. He ended with a 276 average with a pair of home runs, stealing seven bases and 221 at bats. He would go back to the Winter League to help himself out. And then it was funny because El Tuve at 5'6 would, fa would face John Rauch, uh, the Mets reliever who's the tallest player ever at 6'11. So the 18 inch height difference is the biggest between batter and pitcher. El Tuve played his way to the All Star game and then would sign a four year extension in the middle of 2013. Then 2014, he would use his base stealing abilities to help and all that. He actually broke Craig Biegel's long-standing record for hits in a season. Biegel had 210 hits, but Altuve broke that, and in, in 158 games, he got 225 hits, and a 341 batting average, leading the major leagues in both categories, and led the American League in stolen bases, becoming the first Astro to be a batting title champion. Anyway, Altuve looked pretty good hitting and all that. Altuve and his Astros shockingly lost to, K to Kansas City in the ALDS in five games. Well, I say shocking, even though Kansas City was the favorites, because Houston had a goal, the chance to win the series in game four. Up two games to win. But a few mistakes happened. Altuve would put up 216 hits in the 2016 season, leading the majors in that category, and led the AL in batting average at 338, so a sec his second batting title. He was third in MVP voting behind Mike Trout and Mookie Betts. And then Altuve in 2017 batted 346, uh, MLB leading. 46 at that. 204 hits leading the AL, and it looked pretty good for him. 24 home runs, 84 RBIs. So Altuve became the fifth 
hitter since 1947 to get four straight 200 hit seasons between Wade Boggs, Kirby Puckett, and Dutro and Michael Young. It looked pretty good winning his third batting title. All that. In game one of the ALDS against Boston, he put up three home runs in a single game, becoming the 10th player to do so. Altuve helped the Astros win game seven of the ALCS against the Yankees 4 0. Did they? It's the Dodgers. Altuve went deep in extra innings to help the Astros beat the Dodgers in game two, 7 6. The five home runs were the most hit in extra innings of any single game in Major League history because he, Carlos Correa, George Springer, Charlie Culberson, and Yosel Puig hit home runs in extra innings. Altuve would help in Game 5 in that crazy 13-12 game, and the Astros won the World Series in 7. So Altuve did fantastic and all that. He was named co-winner of the Babe Ruth Award, not the actual World Series MVP, but for the postseason MVP, if you take away the final, not just the finals. Anyway. He looked good and all that. Astros picked up his option and Altuve won the AL MVP, becoming the second Astro to do that following Jeff Babel in 1994. He was named the 10th second baseman ever to be MVP and the shortest player since Phil Rizzuto, who also was 5'6", to win the title in the 1950 win. Rizzuto did so. Altuve became the first player since 2012 to win a batting title, regular season MVP, and World Series in the same season. Altuve and J.J. Watt were named co-winners of the Sports Person of the Year Award by Sports Illustrated because of their efforts to help the greater Houston area deal with Hurricane Harvey. It was named the AP Male Athlete of the Year. Virtually, Altuve had a little bit of problems because of the sign seal stealing signal uh, scandal. Altuve signed a five-year, $151 million contract extension in March of 2018. And he looked good. Altuve had knee injuries and couldn't really be effective. So, anyway. So, Altuve, not really known for his home run power and all that. He had a hot 2019 postseason. And he hit the game winning home run in game six of the ALCS against the Yankees when he went deep off on a Ardonis Chaplin sending Houston to the World Series for the second time in three years. And for the fifth time ever, an LCS ended on a walk-off home run. Altuve was given the ALCS MVP for his efforts. Unfortunately, though, he went cold in the 2019 World Series as the Astros shockingly lost to the Nationals. In the series that saw all seven games won by the road team. Anyway, so Altuve became the became the man with the most home runs in postseason history. Well, the highest Venezuelan home run postseason history. Anyway, it looked pretty good for him. In the postseason of 2020, he had five home runs and 48 bats. Altuve did his job and all that for the Astros, hard and hustle and all that. Unfortunately, during the quarterfinals of the 2023 World Baseball Classic, when Venezuela took on the States, Altuve was hit on the phone by a fastball by Daniel Bard, and will miss two months with that thumb injury. So he's currently on the DL as of this taping. Anyway, Altuve is part of Venezuela for international competition. He participated at the World Baseball Classic in 2017. And it was hard. And all that. But yeah, he played in 2023 and then got that 
thumb fracture. So yeah, he's done pretty well. ALCS MVP in 2019, MVP in 2017, AP Male Player of the Year award, um, and Sports Person of the Year by Sports Illustrated. So yeah, he was originally listed at 5'7", but now he's 5'6". It's just amazing what a two they can do. Well, <clears throat> he has a wife and child, and it's actually a born again Christian. So yeah, so Jose Altuve was just playing good for the Astros. And you know, him and Correa always helping the Astros in the 2010. Can't be forgotten. Anyway, I'm just not going to do.